Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see about iOS 16.1, iPad OS 16.1 developer beta first version changes and features that Apple have made. There are a couple of surprises that I'm happy to share with you in this episode. And before diving into the features and changes that these developer version and the public beta testing version also officially rolled out. So if you are a public beta tester, you can download it right away. And some people have asked me in the comment when iPad OS 16 is going to be released. The answer is we will not be seeing the iPad OS 16. Instead, Apple have released the 16.1 developer beta version already. So the release schedule is to happen by mid or end of October for iPad OS 16.1 so we will be seeing directly the 16.1 version when it is released by mid or end of the October. When it comes to iOS 16 and 16.1 comparison, there are some good bug fixes, stability improvements also done with this update. The very first features that Apple have surprised us with is battery percentage feature coming to the iPhone XR 11, 12 mini and 13 mini model. I think this is the first time Apple had a change of mind when it comes to, you know, rolling out a feature that is already rolled out to some device and, you know, calling it as a compatibility issue. The second important feature is lock screen and home screen wallpaper change is going to get a lot easier. Previously, it was quite complex steps to understand for some beginner users. Right now, when you customize the wallpaper, you see the split screen view of lock screen and home screen. Simply, you can tap on any one of them and you can change the wallpaper from the photos library or from the system settings and available collection. When it comes to iOS 16, right now, you can see when you click on customize, you will be given the lock screen view and you won't be seeing the home screen view initially. So here in the this section you have to select customize home screen separately in order to set a wallpaper separately for the home screen it is kind of an extra step you know involved in order to set it and some people beginner users may be confused when they want to try different wallpaper for the lock screen and home screen so here in iOS 16.1 this process of setting wallpaper the way it's supposed to be the next feature is in US only Apple is going to introduce clean energy charging feature under settings battery you will now see instead of battery health you will see battery health and charging as I am from India the clean energy charging feature is not available but if you are from US you will see the clean energy charging feature next to the optimized battery charging when that toggle is on whenever the power grid generates power with low carbon emission then your iPhone will charge faster based on the carbon emission level your iPhone charging speed will be adjusted existing way of optimized battery charging itself have some complications like when people need it the most it the optimized charging kind of you know intervenes and stops the charging at 80% so I kind of have a doubt how this clean energy charging is going to work exactly and I hope it doesn't you know cause more problems in charging above 80% or charging faster your iPhone when you actually needed it the next important feature that they are going to bring is active kit API introduction to developers so similar to this lock screen you know the music player section you will see live scores of your favorite sports from the apps that you have installed any ride applications integration and third-party workout apps integration and so many features can be added here as a live activities you know a kind of a tile that will be displayed on the lock screen for iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max models the dynamic island will be utilized to display these live activities data and that will be very useful for all the users from the lock screen itself you can get a quick preview of what is happening with the sport events navigation and you know third-party developers can take advantage of it the next important thing is matter accessory support apple lab announced it during the event and now it has a separate setting under settings general matter accessories matter accessories are not yet available in most of the countries it is expected to you know it is kind of a standard that will be followed by the accessories manufacturer manufacturers by most of the accessories manufacturers available worldwide so this will allow cross-platform communication like through your home pod or through Siri through Alexa or Google home whichever device you have you can communicate with the matter accessories when the accessory have matter standard support enabled this is definitely huge because for me in a country like India we don't have much home kit accessories available very few are available just one or two adapters power adapters are compatible with the home kit so in this scenario the matter accessories you know merging with tp link and so many other manufacturers that are already available very well their accessories are accessible in india bring some affordable accessories that we can actually use with the home kit application and will be able to control the light
lights, you know, televisions, home appliances as well. So this will definitely be game changing and I'm really eagerly expecting it to be officially rolled out uh, by next year. You know, possibly we will see an year or two to see more manufacturers to bring the Mata compatible accessory. The next important change is now Apple allows you to delete the wallet application. Maybe due to the kind of talks that goes, you know, uh, Apple is kind of becoming a monopoly when it comes to payment systems and Apple Pay is the only option that iPhone users have in order to use it. So to answer that, Apple has given an option to remove the wallet app. It is optional, of course, but most of the iPhone users, Apple Watch users, as far as I know, love Apple Pay. It is not yet available in many countries. Still, if you want to use any alternative payment methods, you have an option to delete the wallet app. And the next one is screenshot menu location has been changed. Previously, it comes from the down to display all these options and right now they have changed it to the top left corner. It is kind of simplified way to whenever you click on done up to iOS 16, you can see the menu appears from the bottom. Right now, it is appears from the done uh, link itself from the top left corner itself. The next change is your friends and family members can now find you uh, based on your email address that you have given with your Apple ID and your phone number, they can find your Game Center ID. So you don't have to manually send them a request. Simply when they check whether you're available in the Game Center, you have enabled it or not, they can easily find it. And there is a toggle, of course, which you can enable and in order to use it. And the next, it's not a feature actually, it's kind of my personal thought. Uh, the volume bar is missing from the music player at the lock screen. I tested it with the home pod. The volume bar is actually displaying uh, below that playback controls, but for regular music playback within the music application, in the lock screen, Apple should really consider adding the volume controls to let us control the volume on the screen itself. Right now, we have to use the volume rockers at the left side in order to control the volume. And let's go to the iPad OS 16.1. The reason iPad OS 16 delayed is as far as I read from the web that the stage manager feature is still buggy and it is not completely usable. Apple is still figuring out ways to, you know, perfect it. And when we enable the stage manager, when I was using it with the 16.1 also, it is kind of smooth and the window controls are much better than the previous beta versions. Still, it is kind of buggy. The ease of use is still missing and Apple is kind of fixing it. And Hoping to fix it by the end of the 16.1 beta version and when it is officially rolled out we will be seeing the 16.1 working perfect with our iPad. When you connect the extended monitor the stage manager will come into effect and it will help you to use the iPad much better. So these are the features and changes that are coming to the iOS 16.1 and iPad OS 16.1. Do share your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments below which feature you actually like the most. Thank you and have a wonderful day.